I believe that you already kind of have an idea of what it takes to be successful at whatever it is that you're aiming for with your health, whether it be weight loss or recovering from injury or just getting a more fit body or whatever it is. You kind of already know what it takes. I want you to examine, just kind of think and pick an area of your of your life that you've been successful in. Maybe it's music. Maybe it's academics. Pick one of those things, and I want you to examine the characteristics of you doing that thing that make you or made you successful at doing that thing. And I guarantee you, and it's, this is not exhaustive what I'm going to talk about, but I guarantee you that you'll notice a few characteristics. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. So think about something for me. I believe I believe that you already kind of have an idea of what it takes to be successful at whatever it is that you're aiming for with your health, whether it be weight loss or recovering from injury or just getting a more fit body or whatever it is. You kind of already know what it takes. So what I want you to do to kind of prove it to you is I want you to examine, just kind of think um, now um, over your life and pick an area of your of your life that you've been successful in. Maybe it's music, maybe it's academics, maybe it is like a particular skill like handiwork or doing hair or something. Pick one of those things and I want you to examine the characteristics of you doing that thing that make you or made you successful at doing that thing. And I guarantee you, and it's, this is not exhaustive what I'm going to talk about, but I guarantee you that you'll notice a few characteristics, key characteristics of that thing. One, you love to do it. Like you love to do it. You thought about it a lot. Two, you had essentially faith for a particular outcome from that thing. Like you believe that by you doing that thing, you would achieve a certain outcome. Like, for example, if it was weightlifting, you believe that you would reach a certain bench press max or that you would build a certain amount of muscle. Or if it was doing hair, you believe that you could make somebody's hair look like, you know, a certain thing in your head or in a magazine or something like that. Um, or you believe that you could learn how to play the guitar or something. And so you had a faith for a particular outcome. Number three, you were consistent. You you kept on doing it. You were so wanting to do this thing and get the outcome that you kept on doing it again and again and again. You would work at this thing most likely multiple times a week. And you would probably do it more if you were able to be um, if you had a time to. And then the last thing is that you persevered. You did not quit. Even if it seemed like you weren't getting results, even if you messed up, even if you didn't achieve the outcome that you wanted initially, you probably tweaked it and kept on going. So all I want to 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 suggest to you now is to take that and put that kind of approach into your health approach. Okay. So first of all, now, I know a lot of people, it's, it's kind of hard to say love, love the process, love the exercise, love the eating right and whatnot. 
Um, you can, but you can grow to love it though. And so, you know, what I want to suggest to you is that you start to treat it like you love it. Okay. I'm not saying like, be like, you know, man, I love this man. Um, but what I'm saying is treat it like you would, if you actually loved it, like, you know, make yourself consider it and think about, um, it all the time. Like, and, and specifically think about where you want to be. Think about the outcome that you want. And this is, this goes on into number two, have faith, like see yourself, you know, it's one thing to hope for a particular outcome, but go ahead and see yourself as having it. And so what faith does is it really, because you've already essentially received it, that's what, why you go and, and, and actually do the action. You go for it. Like you actually take the action because you believe that the outcome is as good as yours. So have faith for whatever it is that you actually want out of the health changes that you're making. Okay. So like believe that by you walking an hour a day that you will achieve the weight loss. Believe that by you cutting out the daily cookies or the daily ice cream that you will experience, um, you know, weight loss, that you will see like changes in your, in your health overall because of getting rid of all the dairy and all the issues that can kind of come with that. So next, be consistent. As I've said before, anybody can do something one time. Anybody can go to a hip hop dance class one time. Anybody can go do some dumbbell curls one time. But if that's all you do, if you do it like once every, you know, couple of weeks or once every couple of months, you're wasting your time. The only way you'll get results from anything is if you keep on doing it again and again and again. Okay. And then finally, persevere. Don't quit. If you don't get the results that you want, the solution is not to stop and be like, man, I just been wasting my time. No, don't stop. Uh, um, my pastor, uh, Pastor Dominique Johnson says, you'll win if you don't quit. And it's so true. A lot of the reason why you don't get results is because you stop. That's it. Instead of, you know, retooling or tweaking your approach or something like that, you know, like changing a little something and keeping on going. A lot of times we stop and and, and we assume that, you know, um, man, I'll never make it. You see? So we kind of throw everything out and then we just, because of our mindsets, we kind of like, we keep ourselves from reaching our, our health goals. Okay. So I don't care what it is. Like I say, recovering from injury. Hey, I did that, you know, when I recovered um, this shoulder dislocation. It can be losing weight. I don't care how much weight it is. I don't care. What anybody says, oh, uh, your genetics or, oh, uh, your big bones or, you know, all this kind of stuff, you know, forget that. It's about what's in your head, about what's in your mind. I don't care how much weight you have to lose. I don't care, you know, how long you've had high blood pressure, diabetes. Pr approach it this way. Treat it like you love it. Have faith. Be consistent. Persevere. And then see what happens. Y'all have a good one. If you like this content, you might also be interested in one of my books. Learn how you can take steps literally today to successfully manage, control, and overcome common issues such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and belly fat. It's all about putting power back in your hands to improve your own health. Get your book copy today by the links in the description or by visiting seanmcclennan.com forward slash books. Also, don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe, and join my email list at seanmcclendon.com forward slash subscribe.